being a content creator sucks. Well, at least it does sometimes. Uh, but today I want to give you a little bit of hope when it comes to being a content creator. Some of the things I did over the past year to help me get my YouTube channel monetized. Uh, I really focused on it over this past year. And just recently I was able to get my YouTube channel monetized. But today I just want to talk with you about it and some of the things that I did that kind of helped me, you know, get my YouTube channel where it is today. And we're going to go over it right now. Let me uh, jump in this video and we'll show you exactly what we're going to be talking about. I'll say sometimes it does absolutely suck, you know, when you're creating videos and, you know, as a content creator and, you know, you put a lot of effort, a lot of hard work into a video or you've been streaming for a long time and you're still consistently streaming like the one or two people, you know, it, it gets you down. It, it frustrates you and causes you to struggle. You know, am I making the right decisions? Am I doing the right thing? You know, why don't people watch my videos? And, you know, all those thoughts, I've had all those thoughts. I still have all those thoughts every time I post a video when I put a lot of hard effort into it and it doesn't get the views I think it should get. And then I make another video and wow, you know, it might get a thousand views on it or 5,000 views. And then you make a follow up video and it only gets a few views. Sometimes that can be absolutely frustrating. And if you've ever been a content creator, if you are a content creator, you know exactly how it feels whenever you know you put all that hard work into making a video and it doesn't do as well as you expected it should so my goal for today's video is just to give you a few of the things that i've done over the past year to help my youtube channel grow to help me you know get farther along in my content creation journey so first thing was deciding that i wanted to actually make a career out of content creation second thing that i did was i just started reaching out all the companies I could possibly think of, some companies that, you know, I thought I might want to work with, I would reach out to them, you know, over uh, multiple times over the past year, just on the off chance that, hey, you know, they might send me something my way and I would be able to, you know, check their products out or I'll check out some of their tech. And then again, from all the work as well, I made sure that all my content information was up to date, you know, email addresses, all my social media, all sorts of things like that when it comes to your content creation journey you need to make sure all that is up to date that way if a company does by chance happen to see some of your work and want to reach out and want to work with you they'll be able to get in touch with you and contact you so like i said making sure your social media information is up to date making sure all your content information is up to date that way if by chance a company does see some of your content and they want to work with you they'll be able to get in touch with you and contact you through you know, whatever social media form or whatever email address that you have. And I'll be honest with you, this past year, I had a couple of companies reach out to me, Prism Live Studio and Spike Studio, both of them reached out to me to do some paid content work from them. And the work that I did, it was something I was actually proud of. It took a lot of effort, it took a lot of work, but it was still something that I could say I was proud of and something that was, you know, a really exciting to me because it made me feel like that in my uh, the content that I was creating was actually useful for someone out there, you know, on YouTube, on Twitch, or on, you know, whatever social media platform they saw it on. There also comes the other side of that as well. Over the past couple of months, I've had companies reach out to me wanting to do paid work with me. I responded and said, yes, you know, sure, I would love to do some work. Let's, you know, let's work something out. Let's see what we can do. And all of a sudden, boom, nothing. No response. I, you know, sent another follow-up email just in case, you know, they got busy. I had one come to reach out to me. Hey, I would love to do some work with you. You know, get back in touch with me. I want to do some paid content with you. And I emailed them back and said, sure, I would love to. Their response was, you know, what, what was this email about? We send so many out. We forgot after that, never heard a thing from them. And I, I was disappointed. Don't get me wrong. I was extremely disappointed. You know, I was looking forward to working with this company. But for whatever reason, they decided to uh, pretty much ghost me. Uh, happened again with another company company reached out said we want to do some sponsored content with you would you be willing to do it uh, you know would you be interested emailed him back told him what i thought said sure let's work something out and we'll make some sponsored content uh, again ghosted once again and i'll be honest with you that is completely frustrating when it comes to stuff like that so like i said sometimes being a content creator you know it comes with highs when you know you get your videos lots of views on the video and it comes with lows as well whenever you don't give views on your content and you know it's it's an up and down process and if you're not willing to 
you know, accept the highs and the lows. I'll be honest with you, avoid it. Uh, because there's just so many ups and downs when it becomes to being a content creator. Uh, it's not always, you know, uh, shiny good things that, you know, go on. Uh, you look at all these YouTube channels that have like millions of subscribers and things like that, and they make it look so glamorous and so wonderful, but that's not what goes on all the times, you know, even though I, I, I can imagine you know, even, you know, content creators with millions of subscribers and they put out a video and it only gets a hundred thousand views versus a normal 250,000 views. That's got to work on your mind. And if you're not willing to deal with that, you're not willing to go through those ups and downs. I'll say this, avoid being a content creator. Okay. So next thing that I want to talk about when it comes to, you know, focusing on being a content creator is that is like I said, making a plan, you know, keeping your social media information up to date, uh, reaching out as often as possible, as many times as possible. And if you want to work with a company, you know, if you're in doing gaming ch channel, and you know you're making content around a specific game you know keeping up to date on all the content that comes around that game making sure you know all the newest features when they're coming out making sure you're putting content based around those new features uh based around you know any updates to the games and things like that me i do a little bit of variety of both i do a little bit of gaming and i do a little bit of tech as well and it it kind of is a mix and match thing when it comes to my youtube channel uh some of it gets really good views some of it doesn't get really good views but it all becomes down to making sure you're doing research and keeping all your information up to date when it comes to a specific topic, knowing about the topic that you're working on. That way you can provide the best possible information to anyone that is viewing that video on your channel or on your Twitch channel or whatever streaming platform you're streaming to. So like I said, make goals for yourself, make goals for your channel. Decide what you want to do. Keep your social media information up to date. That way, if you want to work with a company and companies are, you know, looking for your content or come across your content, they have a way to reach out to you. Always constantly be changing. Always constantly be growing. And decide for yourself what you want your content to be about. And like I said, make sure you're doing research when it comes to the content that you produce. That way, whatever you put out will actually be useful to somebody. It's not going to be useful to everybody, but know your audience you know what are you trying to put content out for uh who are you trying to put content out for you know are you trying to put content out for another streamer are you trying to put content out for a gamer that likes a particular game whatever your content is no and no information about your content that way you're able to answer questions and make videos about that content for those people so here it is is content creation for everybody yes I mean, it is. Everybody can make content. Everybody can, you know, make content to put on YouTube, make content to put on Twitch. Is content creation for everybody? No, as well, because not everybody's willing to put in the type of work. Some people just want to do it as a hobby. And if you want to use it as a hobby, that's fine and well. But if you're looking to make a profession out of it, if you're looking to make income out of what you're doing, you have to look at it as a job because at the end of the day, it's going to be a job because i like for example i did a video for a company it was only a one minute promo that i did and it took me eight hours of work to make a one minute promo for them because i had to go back they had to you know decide hey you know can you do this can you do that and just like any other job whether you're working a nine to five job whether you're working you know whatever kind of job you're working you know you have to do you know x amount of things or this that and the other for that job to be successful so the same thing goes with content creation, you know, decide what you want to do, how you want to do it and make a goal and make a plan towards achieving that goal. I'll be honest with you. I have been extremely blessed over the past few years to have a Twitch community that has supported me, you know, helped me do upgrades in my setup, you know, lighting, PC parts, uh, all sorts of things like that. The ability to be able to, you know, reach out to companies has, you know, not always been an easy thing for me because I'll be honest with you. I am shy to a certain extent. You would never know what, uh, you know, I'm out here doing YouTube or streaming on Twitch, but to a certain extent, I am a little bit shy. So, you know, and, and rejection, nobody likes to be rejected by anyone. And that can, you know, it can mess with your mind. I'll be honest with you over the past year, you know, whenever, you know, videos didn't do so well, or when I had a bad day on Twitch or something like that, you know, it, it can mess with your mind and it can make you doubt yourself, doubt your content. But, you have to keep going if that's what you want to do. Just like any other thing in life, you know, there are ups, there are downs. 
and you have to be willing to face those ups and downs. So let, let, let's just wrap all this up. This has been a much longer video than I intended it to be. But if you're really going to focus on being a content creator, uh, is it always, you know, bells and whistles and, you know, sunshine and puppy dogs? No, uh, it's hard. It makes you doubt yourself. It makes you doubt whether or not you, you're, what you're doing is going to be useful or successful. But don't let that stop you. If you have a desire to actually, you know, become a, you know, real content creator, you have to determine in your mind, hey, I, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make a plan of action for doing those things. And honestly, at the end of the day, whether or not you succeed or fail, it's completely up to you. You can't blame anyone else for your successes or your failures when you're the one that is going to be creating that content. You can't blame the others outside because, hey, they didn't watch my content. Or, you know, this person, you know, does better than me because of X or, re X or Y reason. It all comes down to you what decisions you make, what choices you make, and how you put those plans into action. Like I said, I had a plan. I had a goal last year. I really want to start on my focusing on my YouTube channel. I started on making content, you know, it was geared for a you know wide variety of people. And that was my goal. I made sure everything was in order. I set a plan for my YouTube channel to post videos more consistently, to put out useful content, to really step away from what I was doing on Twitch, and focus more on the YouTube channel to get work done there. But anyway, these are just some of my thoughts. Uh, you can take them, leave them, whatever you want. But this has been my journey when it has come to being a content creator over the past few years. But as always, much love, boys and girls. Peace out, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.